Hi all! In this series of masterclasses, we will make a cat, or rather a kitten. Open the Blender program and add a reference. I drew a side weave of the kitchen in advance. If you don't know how to draw, you can take a photo from the internet. But it's not necessary to draw something complicated. Just a side weave. I'll change the scale of the cube. Now go to edit mode. You can press tab to enter edit mode. So let me add the ability to see what keys I'm pressing. I don't always use hotkeys, but when I do, you'll see the bottom of the screen uh, what key combinations were pressed on the keyboard. Well, now let's zoom in a little again and exit edit mode to apply the subdivision surface modifier. This is due to the fact that it will not be possible to apply it in edited mode. Now I add new edges so that there are more vertices so that when stretched I can create the desired shape. We need to remove several faces because we need to extrude the head, tail and paws. In principle, faces can be extruded and not removed. Well, I'm used to it. Well, by the way, you can add edges in different ways. Let's perhaps uh, first extrude the brows when the tail. This is what happened now. It sticks and stretches due to the fact that proportional ditching is included. We will now uncheck it. In the same way, we extrude the second leg. But you see that I hold down the hotkey E, plus I also add it along that exit in this case, because it's more convenient for me to work this way. By the way, uh, it was possible to delete half of the cube at the beginning, but I didn't do it. I just forgot. 
Uh, let's delete it now in order to apply the mirror. We can pull vertices or edges to correct what we have done. Now, we extrude the tail using the same key combinations, but we will make the tip of the tail by connecting the dots into one by pressing the M hotkey. Well, now I'll do the head. I see that I deleted the wrong head face, so now I'll restore it. Uh, this can be done in different ways. I do it as usual. By the way, uh, when we use the mirror modifier, we need to include the clipping, but I forgot to hold it down, so I ended up with the hole like this. Now we can easily fix it. Now let's adjust the neck and then straight the neck up and extrude the head. Please note that scaring, moving or other actions can be done using the hotkeys. For example, changing the scale, we can use KS, but at the same time we can select the tool suitable for us in the panel to make manipulations.
To more accurately shape the shape of our kitten, I again added additional edges and dragged vertices to give the desired shape. We will do the front weave in the next lesson, but now the flat head looks very funny. Let's uh, turn it up uh, a little and uh, make it more round. Let's prepare everything to extrude an air. I remove the faces first, but you don't have to remove them if you want. You know, just hold the face and extrude out in the desired direction. Now uh, it is difficult uh, to me, uh, difficult to understand where the air should be. Uh, I'm again adding extra borders rather than between the ears. Uh, it seems I deleted uh, the wrong face again. I'll fix it now. Now the air is also ready. I adjusted my model's tail. Now let's admire what kind of kitten we have. It is now very low poly. We don't have any details yet. We don't have a muzzle yet. We'll do the kitten's muzzle and everything else in the next videos. Thank you all for watching my videos. Subscribe. I'm planning a world playlist with such lessons, so together we'll finish the kitten to the end.